Welcome back to the Mystery of Death Theater 5000, where we're on the stage. Hmm, yes. Oh, God, this is... Welcome to the comedic stylings of Dugan and Dershowitz. I'm Dershowitz, and Vanessa's Dugan. Hello. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, this is my... I think, actually, yeah, this is my favorite puzzle in the game. So you have these scenery and props, and I know Rick is going to get flashbacks to that game we were playing with the, <laughs> with the stage. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. It basically looks the same. <laughs> um, okay, Rick, we're going to run now, okay? Let's go. It's okay. It's great. It's, but see, here's, here's the cool part, though. So when you do this, the backdrop changes. And you're like, huh, that's neat. This something's changed in this portal here, in this mirror. Mirror land. And you go into that world. Hey, cool. That is neat. Hmm. And to be perfectly frank, if this had been used as like the entire area, oh, stage office key. Oh, a tree made entirely of meat. It's the meat tree. Meaty. Hmm. Be not oh. fear. The aisle is full of noises, sounds, and sweet airs that give the light a curtain on. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes voices that. If I then had waked after long sleep, it will make me sleep again. But then, in dreaming, the clouds me thought would open and show riches, ready to drop upon me then. When I waked, I cried to dream. Okay. Me thought I needed to take me Unisom. Hmm. Okay, so now we have another one to jump into. But yeah, it would have been nice to have seen this mechanic used a little more, because this also shows us that, you know, as we were talking about the mirror idea, they could have used it in very creative and interesting ways, and I th I suspect it, it's a mixture of they just didn't have the resources and the time mm -hmm. to... Okay, can I just... There we go. Oh, le table. Some very serious uh, technology here. Serious tabling. This uh, kind of reminds me of that part in uh, Downpour. Yeah. I still think it's one of the yeah. coolest parts of that game. Which, I haven't played that part yet, but I know our buddy uh, Henry of uh, Platonic Partnership is a huge fan of that scene. It also kind of reminds me of the Toymaker in um, Lords of Shadow 2. Oh yeah! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did stream that part of the game. Uh, back in the day. I don't yeah. know if I was around for it, unfortunately. I think that was when, uh, I think I was at the gym, I think, that day. That's the coolest part of the game. I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. I feel bad for you. You're the one who missed it. Mm. <laughs> you know yeah, but now you get to experience it all yourself. Yep, because I'm not playing it. <laughs> okay, so I'm not playing it again. Uh, okay, I, okay, so I'm not going to read these files for a few different reasons. The main reason is just they're super long and we've, we've been, this session's been going for quite a while, um, but, uh, some of these books are strange to look at. I don't know how to read. I'm only able to look at Skin Max. <laughs> But basically, is this is all about man delusions, manifestations, um, mind over matter, perceptive reality, the phenomena. Yeah. <laughs> In all cases, these phenomena. Arise from children or adolescence, and the overwhelming majority of subjects are female. So basically, this is doing the whole setup of, uh, I mean, this, because, Vanessa, correct me if I'm wrong here on this, but in Silent Hill 1, there is a file that says young women in preteen years are prone to poltergeist or something. Yeah, there's a, a book in, I think it's in the Midwich Elementary School, that talks about uh, poltergeists and 
that they tend to be attracted to young, like, like teenage girls, because ghosts are creep creepers, total creepers. Uh, it's it's basically the idea of like trying to get across that like Alessa's funky. Right. She's magical. Yeah. She's she's got possibly the... poltergeisty. Right. And then there's the bit about the split personality, which talks about like military experience and like this. It's kind of like the the people who the men who stare at goats uh, thing from uh, from that that movie where the men stare at goats and try to make their them explode. Um, <laughs> And so, yeah, I'm sure that went really well. You know, it's 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 funny. It was a canceled program, and I think everybody who was involved with it turned out to be a bunch of you know people just exploiting a military contract. So, no, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I'm take military for several years. Well, good because the military has too much money as it is anyway. Indeed, I just picked up a portable. T hey, free TV! Oh, free TV! Uh, since this hey, is the early TV, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> since this is the early '80s, I bet he could watch Laverne and Shirley on it. Hey, there you go. Hello. Hello. Hey, Maybe even Bird She Wrote. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm totally asking Lisa. That is, what would happen if Lenny and Squeaky or Laverne and Shirley ended up in uh, in Silent Hill? Because that that's a question I want answered now. Oh God. <laughs> For for Linda, it would be a nightmare for her because she would not be able to get any wine. <laughs> That's what I was. The thinking. problem is I don't have a friggin' drink in my hand. There we go. All right. Uh... And the question is, what happens if uh, something like the Golden Girls cross over into Murder She Wrote? And they and they're solving murders together. There actually is an episode that kind of covers that. I'm not. I'm not joking. They're uh, pushing up roses. Did a did a video on that. I don't think it's a Jessica Fletcher crossover episode, but there is a Golden Girls episode with a murder mystery thing going on. I vaguely remember that. Yeah. God, I forgot the enemies respawn in this game. That's by the way one of the reasons I've not been killing them as much is because. Boo. Yeah. Hey, you want? Oh, motherfucker! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, cheater! He just came out of nowhere. Fucking wow. hell! Wow, okay. That that guy wow. was that, <laughs> wow. That guy was just ready to jump you. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you came to the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. Indeed, I did. <laughs> um, yeah. So you like getting run over? So by my face. <laughs> so you guys realize that all of that was just to get one lever and then come back here to finish the puzzle. Uh, that's that's pull the that's lever. A I'm gonna say that's crap. Yeah, uh, I'm that's gonna. Crap. I'm gonna agree uh, with you. How would that lever work if it's been broken? You just snap it back into place. It's fine. Yeah. It's like le it's like Legos. Yeah. Slidey, slidey. Bullshit on that one. Yep. All right. So now we've got the cave, and we're gonna go through here. So, what was it they said about the cave again? And all these, all these notes. Oh, uh, something, something it's monster. Hmm. Heroes don't do that. <laughs> oh my god, I was waiting for that to come up today. <laughs> Which kind of explains why there are so many supervillains. <laughs> <laughs> because they will. Ah, <sighs> I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong here. This is fine. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a facial reaction there. I think he's ready I to emote. He showed emotion? Weirdly enough, there there was like some heavy noises from our neighbors, I think, upstairs just as this happened. <laughs> <laughs> They're just enhancing the, the monster noises. Let him up! Let him up! Wow. He did. And that, okay. Wow. So yeah, the riveting gameplay otherwise would have basically been keep distance, circle, and shoot. That was all it was going to be. Anyway, oh, falsehood like base. Oh, so well. Many other downhill bosses. Mm. You need these, don't you? For your D and D game. Whoa! Was that? Wow! Was that necessary? <laughs> Alessa, Alessa, why do you hate that monster so much? Because it scared you in a play one time. <laughs> 
That's right, it's Alessa snuck in and got scared by it. Yeah, that's right. Not Lisa. <sighs> I hate kids that can give me instant headaches and then make me wake up on benches. Oh my god, Just that happens so much. often. <laughs> Every time! <laughs> Every time! <laughs> Every time! <laughs> the last time I stepped on this many benches, I had drunk 17 bottles of tequila. I don't know how I'm still alive, actually. And there's a, there was a motel key on its butt. Riverside but, but, motel. but. No, no. He's crazy in and out of reality. He just had an avid fart. Uh, so Travis, do you want to, like, I don't know, emote? No. All right. I just want to keep on trucking. Y'all get it, right? Yeah, yeah, you get it, cause, cause I drive a, you drive the thing with the, oh, oh, never mind. I drove a truck, which, admittedly, I left behind when I ran into town, so I, I, I don't know why I did that. I, I can't wait for when we get to the finale of this and we I'm come not, back. I'm not a smart man. Um, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm not a very wise man. In fact, I'm a bit of a dumbass. Oh right! Like doesn't doesn't he get his truck back? Isn't he finally reunited with his truck, and it feels so good? Yeah. Trucky, Trucky, I love you, Trucky. <laughs> God, the range on this thing sucks. Trucky, I came I came back to you. I came back to you, Trucky. Okay. I'm gonna get those bullets. Ding, 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 ding. Oh God! Oh no! Oh I, oh! I, 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 I mistakes I, I were wish, made. I I wish he didn't run as bad as I do. Run like I do now. I used to run and better. Just like, and, and, I, and then I took a nope. pandemic to the knee. This makes me think of uh, Ethan at the beginning of uh, Village. Oh, you mean him losing his shins by falling down something? No, no. He he used to be uh, an adventurer, and then he took uh, an arrow to the knee. He did. You know what? I didn't even think he of that. Did. He did. He did. Yeah. In a frozen land. Hmm. Yep. Yep. So, so Ethan was really just Skyrim in it. Oh. Uh. Yeah. What? Oh, you're. Oh no. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, um, there's a couple things just to grab here in the public ref records office. This is one of those like, why are we here? Kind of things. It's I. It, it feels like um, what they're trying to do is like the police. Uh, uh, yeah. The police station from the first game. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Despite the and so you realize it's it's an it's an altered police oh. document. Uh, mm. the, they say it was an accident in the basement. An old boiler caused a fire to spread to the rest of the building. Blah blah blah. Lessa Gillespie was declared dead at the scene by Doctor Kaufman. Her body was identified by her mother. Death certificate and coroner support will be forthcoming. Oh, whoop, more pistols. Pistol bullets. Give me. Ah, uh, oh, yes. The boiler theory. <laughs> oh, God. That just burns me up. Mm-hmm. It actually was, uh, was Officer... Officer somebody. Gucci. Gucci. Thank you. Uh, expressed by your teacher is important to fully look into the matter. Okay, I saw Nevis in neglect and abuse. He saw that he felt that Mrs. Gillespie seemed a model parent, bringing her daughter up in a strict religious household. Further, we're to satisfy the complainant's uh, request. We had Dr. Kaufman from Al, Al Camila speak with the girl alone. He said, childish fantasies, rituals, or cults. She kept yelling, Silent Hill! Silent Hill! Is this supposed to be the president? Sam Regal. Sa President Sam Regal. <laughs> Finally, cabinet. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, just stuff that in your vest. That's right. <laughs> he stuffed everything else in there. Hmm. It's just it is a gateway to another dimension. <laughs> dimension of beyond sight and mind. Okay, I just needed. He's entered the puffy vest zone. <laughs> He he does have a Marty McFly vest, doesn't he? It, well, it was the early turns 80s. Out the turns out the monster was man. I mean, that is also kind of Silent Hill. Turns out the monster oh, was oh, man, but oh, also monsters. Oh god. Oh god, that's a big one. You're a big one. Ooh. 
Whoa. Also with big oh, booty. More giant booty. Big booty. Oh, oh, tay, oh, tay. oh, spinning. <laughs> spinning. Spinning. Spinning spin to freedom. <laughs> You spin me right round, baby, <laughs> round, right round, round like a monster like baby. <laughs> You're welcome. I thought you would get a get a good giggle out of that. Oh, that's a hammer. I, I don't did. need it. Oh, that one's good. Alrighty. Wait, he. It's like, does those gauntlets does gauntlets make me think that this, I should be playing God Hand right now? Well, not. You're stuck doing this. God damn it. Oh, yeah, like God, yeah, like I'm armed with a crate. <laughs> ah. Oh, crate. Oh, crate. Crates they, they, just, <laughs> they just launch themselves at you. They really like, do. Reckless abandon. Mm -hmm. Just. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to grab a couple of these things here, and then we're going to head for our actual destination, which is the Andy's bookstore. Hmm. Andy? Andy. Oh god. Oh, get away from me. Get uh, away from me. No, no. No no spit. Hmm, no. There we go. Okay, so now for the part that everybody's gotta everybody can gather around. We're time for uh, us to get another mm -hmm. weapon. Because for mm -hmm. some fucking reason we don't have enough weapons already. We okay. need to add more okay. American combat for the Westerners. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. I, oh I, wow. I, what? I, what? what? Please tell me that's actually a fake AK. It's the idea. Okay, the theory is he thought it into existence. What? what? It's oh. it's in a it's in a bookstore. <laughs> I just want to say this game owes me seven thousand eight hundred sixty three euros. <laughs> One euro for every brain cell I just fucking killed. <laughs> So do you get a free assault rifle with purchase of book? I th I get I guess oh, maybe Oh, oh I get Actually, it. It it's it was that uh that store that Peggy and Dale did in in King of the Hill. <laughs> it is it, <laughs> if in Texas that would make a lot of sense. And I mean I I get it, right? It's 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 a used bookstore, it's in America, you know. Sure. But which used bookstore have you been to that has oh, guns? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. The best what, what? bookstore in the world, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna USA, oh, no, USA. NRA. 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 Uh, fuck the NRA. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, one hundred percent. Well, there goes a sponsorship for the year. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure I'm, you were going I'm, to be sponsored by the end. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! That is some what, serious. What? 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 The, what? The, look out! What? Oh dear! <laughs> but that was. Y'all oh, saw those floating items, right? That wasn't just I, me. Oh yeah. Yes. No, I saw okay. Them. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. hey, it's uh, it's uh, the 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 Mothman. Uh... Yeah, it's the Mothman Alley. Yeah. Ah, that's what it was. Well, I guess, I guess it's just moth. Uh, yeah, true. You know, I, I genuinely don't understand why the moth from Resident Evil 2 is so popular. Aw. I, I, I mean... Mothra fans. Yeah, it's Mothra fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a Mothra fan, I'm going to... That's what I'm gonna... I'm gonna you know, like, people just kind of go nuts for that moth, and I'm like, are you sure, though? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's more of a pain in the ass than anything. True. Yeah, yeah. like it, it. I never even see it when I'm I'm um, playing the original. I kill it before it reaches me entirely. It's just oh, there was the moth. Okay, it's dead. Hmm. Understandable. Okay. All right, we're done with that. Now to go to the store that I generally like. It's, is it's it a ge general store? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Generally. I was I was trying to be subtle. Were you? 
<laughs> no. Because generally you're not. <laughs> Limited time. Everything. Everything must go. I will. I will sell my sense of decency. <laughs> everything about me must go. Well, we do do a show on YouTube, so selling our sense of decency is probably part of the course. I don't think we yeah. ever had a sense of decency. Mm -mm. Yeah, fair enough. Is there another thing over here? I thought I saw something over here. Yep, I did. Whoa, ample. Whoa, thing. <laughs> that's a that's a good one. That's a that's a good. That's yeah. That's a keeper. You should get yourself a slushy. I should, but I can't. You get yourself an ample no. slushy. Full of old bottles. Mm. Old bottles that I ain't gonna drink. A screwdriver, so I can I just. I'm a responsible trucker. I'm gonna stick that into someone's ear. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Here comes the butcher to chop off your head. Okay. Cool. But, mm, again, mm -hmm. we if it, if it wasn't for them actually continually mentioning the butcher, I would have forgotten he was in this game. Yeah. Yeah. We saw him once at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, even Pyramid Head had more screen time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but that said, Pyramid Head got his own chapter in Dead by Day Daylight. Yeah, I don't see the butcher getting that. <laughs> He's never going to get that. Oh, but they, they also had to uh, nerf Pyramid Head's butt. That's right. I heard about that. It all, it all comes right back around to the asses. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so I guess you could say, though, that uh, the butcher got caught. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. And now for more item hunting. Also, I saw uh, Leon's uh, alternate RE4 oh, outfit, yeah. and it cracks me up. It looks kind of oh, weird on the, younger, on the younger Leon. Yeah, like, but they also give him the hair. That's Oh, that's right, they did give him the hair. It's really funny looking. Nope, no, like, you can't oh, turn Leon. Oh, oh god damn it. No! Yeah. <gasps> oh, nice, Wah. one hit. I'm w I am Wah. one punch man. One punch trucker. <sighs> oh. Oh yeah, so hey, remember how we were talking about how it was great that the uh, boss fight for Caliban was a cool, kind of a cool design? Well, guess what? There he is. He is just an enemy in the field now. He's back now. And in pog form. That's a pog form. We need more pogs. Hey, future me, can you put up a picture of a uh, Caliban in pog form? Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that video's gonna get a dislike from me. <laughs> maybe, maybe put a, a pogger's face after it, like oh, next to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, Caliban, you're my poggers. Ugh. Creep myself out of that one. Yeah, that's, uh, that was a little, that was a little, a little left of, uh, of comfy. Oh, is that a, oh. Okay, and then we, oh, apparently I'm going to need that, uh, energy drink Very in a second. slowly, slowly jog away. Just in case, okay, he did not hit me because his range sucks as much as my gauntlets do. I mean, in terms of range, their attack power uh -huh. is, their DPS is fucking fantastic. Do not mind it one bit. All right, I pretty much have enough ammo to beat the game at this point. I think we're good. I'm just gonna head for the motel. I'm just gonna head for the motel. Yay! And now we continue with the, the not plot. Yeah, there really isn't much of a plot in this game, is there? Not really. I Was mean, there Travis... really much of a plot? Mm. I mean, Travis uh, found a crispy kid, took her out of the house, and then fell asleep, woke up on a bench, went to see if she was still alive, got no answers, and then just kind of kept wandering around town reliving the greatest hits of his own personal life of coming to Silent Hill seeing his mom that wanted to murder him. Sounds like a Tuesday. 
It is an average Tuesday in Silent Hill, yeah. All right. And I was just like, I guess, I guess I'm gonna go to this hotel, this motel, because I've been here before. Yeah. I guess. Wait, I think I've been here before. What? Uh, how, but how is that possible? Oh wait, it says Travis was here. Yeah, I have been here. Hmm. Ark, I'm Ark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, wrong franchise. Yeah, yeah. I was I was here investigating for my friend Leon S. Kennedy. <sighs> and I think uh, with that we are going to God Resident Evil Survivor. I think that just broke me. I think I'm, I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm good for today. All right, everybody. You're, you're done. Uh, that was about three hours of this. Later, folks. See you. See you next time. We will be back. We will. Uh, we will return, and we will wrap up this uh, wonderful adventure. We actually don't have that much left to do, <laughs> truth be told. But we are tired. We are hungry. We need to go do things. We have to remember that the world is a beautiful place, unlike Travis Grady's very not fun vacation. He just goes. Oh. <laughs> I ain't mean to you guys. He's just, he's just gonna tr- he's gonna turn his back on us now. Doom doom doom. Oh, oh wait, there we oh there we go. Da- damn it! Ah, sensitivity on the stick. Bonk. Is, here it just rip. Whoop. Twirl it, twirl it, always twirl it to freedom. <laughs> twirl it, baby. Zip. <laughs>